how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I just feel like doing some painting. I've been kind of crafting all day. Well, doing some Christmas things, getting some stuff out of the storage room. And then I came across this wreath I put together today. Uh, real cheap. <laughs> like, uh, this thing was already wrapped. It's one of those metal things that was wrapped with this silver. And then I got that for a dollar. <laughs> and then I got this, the tinsel for a dollar. And then I bought these at Walmart for like two dollars. So I went ahead and put some pretty pine cones on it. I think I might need a bigger bow though. Not sure. <laughs> but that's what I did today. Just something fun. Uh, needing to, you know, get things done. Those little crafts that, cause I don't have a wreath for my door. I have a wreath for outside on the front of my house, but not for my door. So, Anyway, I thought I would go ahead and I had to run and do something real quick. I'll go ahead and do a balloon smash today. This is, I always have to measure. Isn't that crazy? Because I have painted on so many different sizes that nine by 11, right? Nine by 12. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to do a balloon smash. And I'm using Arteza. Some of the small little tubes I have. I'm using Scarlet Red, Yellow Ocre, Orange Yellow, and Viridian Green. And white. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover my canvas with white real quick. runny side. I did a big batch the other day and it's just a little too runny but it's okay because I tested it. <laughs> and I will torch that because I don't want well I probably won't get cells but you never know. I don't want to torch it. Alright so here we go. Now they're all with two parts flow trial and just drop of water I swear it's just like a drop and when I do a balloon smash I'll actually do them a little bit on the runnier side well my normal consistency which is like warm honey okay so here we go I will fast forward through this
That's pretty. That is really, really pretty. Am I too far away on this one? Maybe. I might be. I don't know. But that's a pretty one. I like it. I'm just going to take my finger, pull up some of the puddles, kind of give them like a little pull up look. See, it just kind of pulls up wherever there's a big puddle. Kind of gives it a little flower petal look in the middle. And uh, I forgot to mention, I do wipe my balloon in between. Okay, that's good, I think. There might be some areas that are look like they don't really have anything. It's no big deal. Just blot it in there. Oh no, I think it's really pretty. That's gorgeous. So yeah, I don't like to just like keep them too. I like to overlap just a little and then don't go in order, you know. Kind of don't have one smack dab right in the middle. But I like it. I think it's pretty. like the colors. Is that green showing up in the camera? That, there's some that need blotting and then there's like a little bit of canvas. So again, you just take your finger pick up here and go around wherever it is so it covers up wherever their canvas you can't even see it once it's dry okay there we go once it dries it all blends real nice right there I didn't see I like this color so I don't know about you guys but I think it's pretty deep there we go that's good very beautiful all right so kind of fall looking plus Hawaii looking I like those colors together all right so I have a quote hold on a minute okay Oh, that's very pretty. I like it. I love those colors. Anyway, this is a nice positive quote. Our feelings are a direct product of our thoughts. Thoughts that are guided by our own mind. Why then should our feelings be dependent upon people or situations? Grab that leash and take control of your feelings. Instill positivity within yourself. You'll come to realize that happiness is, in fact, a choice that we often overlook. So why not make this choice and alter our life for good? There we go. I like it. Right on. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, that would be awesome. So thanks guys, have a good one. Bye bye now.